I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Today I'm going to take you for a tour of a hip and history filled neighborhood here in New York City called the Lower East Side. In fact, there's so much to see in the Lower East Side that this will be the first of a two part series. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll let you know when part two comes out in a couple weeks. As you can deduce from its name, this neighborhood is located in the southeastern part of Manhattan. The Lower East Side is located between Houston Street to the north, the East River on the east, Canal Street to the south, and Bowery to the west. Keep in mind that the boundaries of this neighborhood are not exactly defined because the area is in constant change and renewal. It's difficult to tell exactly where the Lower East Side ends and where the adjacent neighborhoods start. The Lower East Side, also called LES by the locals, is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Manhattan. In the past, it has been predominantly occupied by working class immigrants who settled here in the many tenement buildings. It's a culturally diverse area formed by many ethnic groups from around the world who have been immigrating to New York over the centuries. Located on Orchard Street, the Tenement Museum is a five-story tenement building where thousands of immigrants from 20 different nations lived between the mid-1800s to the early 1900s. You can take daily tours offered by the Tenement Museum to see how the immigrants used to live. Tenement buildings were specifically built by greedy owners to house as many immigrants as possible who lived in crowded and squalid conditions. Families were stuffed into small rooms with no heat, no running water, and no bathrooms. In 1867, new housing laws were passed requiring landlords to improve the living conditions of their tenants. Things like adding bathrooms, for example. Of course, these old tenement buildings have been updated and renovated to today's standards. In the early 1900s, the Lower East Side was mainly populated by Jewish immigrants who kept their culture and their heritage alive through the years. Katz Delicatessen is one of the oldest Jewish food establishments in the Lower East Side. It has been here since 1888 and it features its famous pastrami sandwich and many other kosher foods and cold cuts. Katz has also appeared in several movies like Donnie Brasco, Across the Universe, and When Harry Met Sally. New York Habitat has apartments all over the Lower East Side. People from all over the world come here because it's a lively area day and night. If you want to feel at home and save money, head on over to our website at nyhabitat.com and choose your favorite vacation rental. It's definitely cheaper than a hotel and you'll get more for your money. You'll have more space and you'll be able to book a furnished apartment with a fully equipped kitchen so you can cook instead of going out to restaurants for each meal. As you walk around the Lower East Side, you'll notice synagogues on almost every street. Most of these synagogues were declared monuments in 1996. The Biala Stoker Synagogue was founded in 1865 by a group of Orthodox Jews who came from the town of Bialystok in Poland. The Angel Orensand Center on Norfolk Street is one of the oldest and largest synagogues built in New York City. It was founded in 1849 by a congregation of German Jews. The Eldridge Street Synagogue was built by a group of European Jews in 1887. It has beautiful stained glass windows and a glorious Moorish Revival architectural style. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video tour of the Lower East Side. There are tons of attractions to see in this area, and it's an easy walk to some of New York's funnest neighborhoods. You've got the East Village, Chinatown, Soho, Financial District, tons of things to do and see. If you know of any fun things that we missed in this video, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to visit our website at nyhabitat.com where you'll find furnished apartments, vacation rentals, and even rooms to rent in apartment shares in the Lower East Side, all over Manhattan, and across the river in Brooklyn and Queens. What better way to spend your next trip to the Big Apple? 
I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. We hope to see you soon in the city that never sleeps.